For my ethics assignment, I will be doing case 7, unauthorized modification of data. The scenario goes as follows. A programmer is asked to write a program that will intentionally generate inaccurate information for company stockholders. When the programmer questions the manager about the problem, the programmer is told to write the program. Otherwise, the programmer will be fired. The programmer writes the program. How would you rate the programmer's conduct? I personally would poorly rate the conduct of the programmer, and I would also question the manager's conduct as well as the leadership for the entirety of the company. Profits and making money are understandable. They are goals for every single person who holds a job or plans to hold a job in the future. However, there is a certain line that cannot be crossed to reach these goals. His or her job in the end, they will cause much more damage to a vast array of people, in this case, the stockholders, by misleading them with false information instead of putting out the correct information and losing their own job. I chose this topic because it pertains to society, especially in today's standards. I would have to imagine that many people go through difficult decisions like these on a daily basis. This topic is not only relevant, but important in today's society as many people entering the workforce, such as fellow students of mine, in a few several years will likely have to make situations like these. In the end, the only thing that will be able to guide our decision making is our morals and our ethics. While some people might cave in and want to save their future, their money, and their securities at the expense of other people's, it will be up to us to decide which decision is best for the making. I learned a lot about myself and how the choices that I make will go on to define not just my life, but other people's lives too. In this scenario, the programmer might be seen as saving themselves by writing the program. They are the only one that is being affected. When what is being affected is their moral code and ethics. However, when you think of it in a different light, it is easy to see how the programmer will be the least affected person out of this entire experiment. The stockholders for the company, the people who are trusting their money within this company are the real ones at risk, for they are being lied to and fed false information about the company that they are entrusting their hard-earned money and savings into. At the end of the day, the programmer will not bear the responsibilities and consequences from the programmer's decision. It will be the stockholders who will have to bear the decision of the falsified information that was made by the programmer. A real life example of a scenario that closely mimics the lessons learned in this scenario is the Bernie Madoff Ponzi scheme, defrauding thousands of people out of tens of billions of dollars over the course of at least 17 years. In 2008, Madoff was eventually brought to justice but not by outside sources. After confessing to his sons, the next day, authorities came in and arrested Madoff. In 2009, at age 71, Bertie Madoff pleaded guilty to 11 federal felony courts, including securities fraud, wire fraud, mail fraud, perjury, and money laundering. Madoff was sentenced to 150 years in prison in order to forfeit $170 million in assets. While not the exact same scenario as the one with the programmer, and definitely with less severe consequences, the decisions made by Bernie Madoff's sons to turn him in mimic the decision that this programmer 
could have made if he decided to inform the company stockholders of the true data. This real life example doesn't only give this scenario the legitimacy that it deserves, but it also shows that it has happened before and will have the possibility to continue to happen in the future unless people take action to halt these treacherous maneuvers.